At least two Soviet commissions investigated the Shoe trials after Stalin's death in 1953. The first commission was led by Molotov, with other key figures of Voroshilov, Kaganovich, Suzlov, Fertzua, Svernik, Aristov, Pospilov, and Rudenko. This first commission investigated materials concerning Bukharin, Rykov, Zinoviev, Tchaikovsky, and other members of the Moscow trials. It worked from 1956 to 1957, and they stated the accusation against Tchaikovsky should be dropped. It failed to rehabilitate all the victims of the Moscow trials, as they were still seen as political enemies and headed anti-Soviet struggle to build socialism. However, they did show the evidence was produced from torture and was full of lies. The second commission was led by Svernik and had other key figures of Shelepin, Shemachatsny, Sir Duke, Miranov and Rodenko. This was also known as the Svernik Commission and they worked from 1961 to 1963. They produced two 200-page reports on the falsifications of the show trials and Moscow trials. They recommended rehabilitating everyone accused in the Moscow trials except Radek as his materials needed further checking and Jagoda as he was a criminal and one of the falsifiers of the trials.